Also tonight, they're very popular. They're also very convenient. They're also very portable. Space heaters are being blamed for setting a fire, though, right next to where a six-year-old little boy was sleeping. Dennis Shanahan live with us tonight. And Dennis, cold nights, space heaters seem convenient, but boy, do they ever come with a risk. Oh, do they, Eric? And a lot of us have these portable space heaters. You don't think anything of it, but we learned a lesson, and a family learned a lesson the hard way, that you do not plug those in to an extension cord. The crew at Sac Metro Fire Station 24 keeps busy this time of year going out on calls, but one house fire in particular early Wednesday morning in North Highlands stands out as a warning for all of us. It could have been a fatal fire for sure. As Captain Paramedic Jason Wenner explains, a family had plugged two space heaters into one extension cord. These pictures of the cords were given to us by Metro Fire. The electrical load sparked a fire that ignited a couch. All of this happening in a garage converted into a bedroom where a six-year-old boy was sleeping. When the father smelled the smoke, he went in the room, grabbed his child, took him out, and then uh, did put the fire out before we, we got there. A happy ending and a teachable moment as we all find ways to keep warm this winter. Any portable device that draws a lot of power should be plugged in directly to the outlet. Not an extension cord. Not an extension cord. Also, there was a smoke detector in that home, but it was centrally located. It was not near the garage that had been converted into this child's bedroom. So the Metro firefighters did give the family a second smoke alarm. That is something to keep in mind, that extent extensions of homes also need their own smoke detectors. All right, Dennis Shanahan live for us tonight. Dennis, thank you very much. And